and stood by you and taken care of you, okay? She may be known as a real housewife of Beverly Hills, but Kyle Richards' current mansion is located in Encino, California. She and her husband purchased their stunning home back in 2017 for $8.25 million, and it's also known as the Smokey Robinson Estate since the singer lived there for many years. Prior to this property, Kyle called a Bel Air mansion home, which up until 2020, she was still trying to sell. The couple also owns a desert retreat in La Quinta, California, which they had bought in 2014 and can vacation to whenever they please. Today, we'll take a look at a few of Kyle's homes, past and present. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kyle Richards is an actress, socialite, TV personality, and more, who started off as a child actor appearing in The Little House on the Prairie, as well as many adventure and horror films. Since 2010, Kyle has been best known as one of the main cast members on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and is actually the last remaining original member left as of this year. You may also know that she's Paris and Nikki Hilton's aunt. At the time of this recording, Kyle has amassed an insane net worth of $100 million, making her not only the richest housewife of Beverly Hills, but the richest housewife in the entire franchise. Considering this, you already know the properties that she and her husband Maurizio Umansky live in are super impressive. From their current estate in Encino, which spans over 10,000 square feet, to their vacation home in Palm Springs, and even their former house, the couple is living lavish. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I've been noticing a lot of copycat channels recently, but we're the original source for celebrity house tours, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support. We post a new video daily. You guys requested this one, so today we're going to take a look at Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kyle Richards and where she calls home, including her Encino mansion, her desert getaway, and much more. If you like this video, be sure to check out our recent house tours on some of the Real Housewives of Atlanta stars, like former cast member Kim Zolchak and Sheree Whitfield, which we'll link to at the end. And let me know which Beverly Hills housewives you want to see here next. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Just last year, it was reported that Kyle and Mauricio were attempting to sell their former Bel Air mansion once again. The couple originally listed this home for just under $7 million in late 2017, lowering the price in 2018, but then decided to lease the mansion out for two years. In 2020, it was relisted, this time at $5.95 million, almost double what the high profile pair paid for the place back in 2011 when they spent $3 million in the home. If you're curious, when Kyle's Bel Air home was being rented out, it was first a short term summer rental at a pricey 50k per month and an annual with a rate of 20k monthly. This mansion was located in the exclusive Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles as you might expect. And according to listing materials, the 6,229 square foot home boasted 7 beds and 7 baths. Outside it was surrounded by a charming white picket fence and a manicured lawn while the indoor spaces were extra glamorous. Walking in, the spacious entryway had a black and white checkered floor and an eye catching chandelier of course with 20 foot high ceilings too. Just off the foyer, there was a glittery powder room with silver wallpaper and art deco mirror, while the stylish details follow in the rest of the spaces. One living room has hardwood flooring and a cozy fireplace, while the dining room also boasts a fireplace, this one made of whitewashed brick. Above, there are beamed wood ceilings with skylights. Moving through a doorway, there's the attached kitchen that boasted an all white theme, marble countertops, and more skylights, and this space opens to the family room. And elsewhere, there's a den with wet bar, deer antler chandelier, fireplace, and TV, which opens through French doors out to the yard. Other features of Kyle's former mansion include a fully soundproof home theater with wood paneling and plush seats, as well as a staff suite on the main floor. Upstairs, one of the guest bedrooms was transformed into a home gym, while another was made into an office dressing room. The couple's former master suite was luxe as they come, with a fireplace and sitting area, as well as a private terrace, marble bath, and double walk-in closets. Outside the tree surrounded property offered plenty of privacy, as well as amenities like a brick dining terrace, swimming pool and spa, multi purpose sports court, and a putting green. In 2017, Kyle moved to her current home, a beautiful mansion located in the Encino area of Los Angeles, which isn't Beverly Hills, but it's still sunny and gorgeous. This mansion, which the couple spent $8.25 million on, came with a celebrity pedigree, being dubbed the Smokey Robinson Estate, considering the famed singer lived there from 1980. 
1888 to 2002. While the mansion was originally built in 1912, it was of course updated plenty since, and it came with all of the luxury features you could desire. Outside the home is stately and traditional, situated on 1.5 acres of land and inside, the home spans a sprawling 10,600 square feet. Kyle told Bravo TV about her beautiful mansion, saying, It's an absolutely beautiful home. We are so happy to be there and enjoy this gorgeous home. It doesn't feel like you're in Los Angeles. It feels like you're in a completely different part of the country. Grand private gates greet you at her property, where there's a circular driveway with garden and a beautiful fountain in the center. Walking in this southern colonial style home, the entryway boasts the same checkered flooring as Kyle's former mansion, and of course, it's just as glamorous. The home is super inviting by the looks of it, considering even outside there are oak trees and covered porches, giving the place a charming feel. The main residence boasts seven bedrooms with three en suites aside from the master, as well as eight baths, not to mention eight fireplaces. There's a beautiful hearth fireplace in the dark sitting room, as well as an ultra modern marble one in Kyle's living room, where she, her family, and the dogs can gather around together. While the mansion was renovated and expanded, developers still kept a traditional feel at the Smoky Robin. In estate. Kyle's home is definitely a trophy mansion now, with rooms like a sun filled formal living area and sprawling dining room. There's a family room attached to the state of the art and open concept kitchen, which has been decked out in blue toned cabinets and offers bar style seating. Yet another seating area is located in a bank of windows and overlooks the grounds and gazebo outside. Other rooms in Kyle's mansion include a home theater, a library, even a powder room with fireplace, while an open space at the top of the stairs has been transformed into a lounge area. Kyle's master suite is obviously the nicest bedroom and has a fireplace, walk-in closet, glass walled bathroom and a beautiful 800 square foot private terrace. From here you can catch views of the entire property with no neighbors in sight. On the grounds of the couple's home there are a ton of features like a brand new pool and spa as well as the picturesque gazebo. There's a lot of patio space to lounge or dine and if that's not enough there's a newly built guest house which spans 1600 square feet of space. The main area here is open air so you can easily access the pool, but there's also a private bedroom and bath of course. Elsewhere on the property there's even a putting green and more peaceful features like a meditation garden and a running creek. Finally, Kyle and Maurizio also own a desert getaway where they can escape from any housewives drama, which they bought back in 2014 for 2.35 million dollars. This retreat is located in La Quinta, California in the Palm Springs area, the same neighborhood where the likes of Kris Jenner has a mansion and the Kardashian Jenners like to escape to. Entered via glass and iron gates, Kyle's custom home here overlooks the mountains and a designer golf course, while interiors span 5,843 square feet of space with six beds and seven baths. While it may look like your average luxury vacation villa, it has over the top features like the stereo system that spans the entire home with 10 televisions, 28 speakers, and six control pads. Rooms in the mansion include a den and office area, a home gym, and more than one living and family room. Not to mention there's a chef's kitchen with top level appliances and space to eat with family and friends. Elsewhere, there's a spa, billiards room, and a movie theater, as well as expensive stonework throughout. Many of the rooms are decorated with brown and tan color schemes to match the Palm Springs desert backdrop. Electric pocket doors throughout the residence open up to the covered patio where there's a built in barbecue and plenty of room to serve meals and entertain. For guests, there's a separate casita on the property for full privacy, and of course, no vacation home is complete without a swim. Pool. Kyle's luxury pool has a waterfall and spa as well, which is perfect for unwinding. So now we've taken a look at three of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kyle Richards' home. This included her current mansion in Encino, her former Bel Air home, and her Palm Springs getaway. Out of her three luxury properties, which did you prefer? It was a hard choice for me because they're all beautiful with tasteful decoration. I like some of the interior features of her former Bel Air mansion most, but I love the exterior and grounds of her current Encino estate. Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about her mansions down below. I've also been reading all your comments on our house tours and I'm going to be shouting some of you guys out. I love hearing what you have to say about these celebrity houses. These are from our recent Kim Zolchak house tour. Bruce Winther said, Good taste is subjective. Glittering hemlines on drapes, overly done window coverings, and overly accessorized rooms does not always dictate good taste. 
I can see what you're saying, Bruce. It's definitely a bit over the top in some of the rooms. Jean Jackson wrote, Kim, this house is lovely, nicely put together. And finally, Richardo Blair said, The Hollywood room is gorgeous. I love that room too. If you guys want me to shout you out next time, don't forget to leave me a comment about Kyle's home and keep your eye out at the end of our next house tour. If you haven't, I'd love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel. You can get to know me better over there. We'll link you my latest video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.